Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm hanging out on the porch here, my camp chair. <laughs> I have a little bistro set here, which looks really nice, but the chairs aren't very comfortable. So I finally swapped out with uh, my camp chair. You can see in the background here, which is super squeaky. But anyway, you don't really care what chair I'm sitting on, do you? Um, this video is going to be on knife storage. I have a bunch of different ways that I store my knives. People ask me all the time, how do you store your knives? I'm starting to get into knives. I had one, kept it in my pocket. When I wasn't carrying, I kept it in my dresser. Now I have 200. Where do I put these things? Knife storage uh, seems to be a problem for some people. I mean, there's a, a million different ways you could store your knives. Something as simple as a Tupperware container, but especially when you start getting into some of the higher end stuff, you don't want your knives just kind of like piled on top of each other, scratching each other. If you want to start maintaining them and taking care of them and you build your collection, you want different ways to store them. Now you can store them either on display, which is all kinds of cases you could put on your wall, different types of uh, holders that you could put on shelves, or you can store them where you're basically putting them away. And uh, I always recommend if you have knives that are a little bit more pricey to store them where they're not on display, just because people have sticky fingers. Might have people over, maybe even if you trust them, they know you have a very expensive knife on the wall, but you have a bunch of knives, so maybe they take one and you don't notice, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know who you hang out with, but it's a good idea, generally speaking, not to display very expensive stuff. Uh, if you do have a fairly large knife collection, you could display some of your cheaper items and then stash away the good stuff, you know what I mean? But anyway, um, the reason I'm making this video is because I just got one of these recently, and this is an Apache 3800 case. Got this from Harbor Freight, and this is my new favorite way to store knives. I just love it. Having these hard cases, uh, specifically Pelican cases, they've been really, really popular um, with a lot of knife collectors in the last, I don't know, year, two years, three years. I'm kind of late to the game here uh, because I've been using some old school, you know, knife rolls and, and such, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but yeah, this is like the thing. This is how people store their knives. But specifically, this one is a ripoff or a copy of the Pelican case. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later in the video because I think it's awesome. I think it's really, really worth looking at. Got that, again, at Harbor Freight for 40 bucks. It's comparable to the Pelican, the same size Pelican case is like 100 bucks. All right, so 60% savings is pretty good. So, how do I, uh, oh, geez, I gotta, I gotta shave. So it's good about being in front of the camera, I can critique myself. So yeah, I should have probably shaved before the video, but we're in it to win it now. So let's, let's look at some of these things. One of my most uh, favorite ways to store knives are these little books, all right? These little, like, uh, I guess albums, I don't know what you'd call this, but they're just folding cases, they zipper. They nice felt, all right? So when your knives are, when it's closed, they're not rubbing on each other. <clears throat> kind of a professional way to store them. These are just some random knives that I have currently in the collection. Knives that I'm trading, selling, all kinds of stuff like that, but yeah. There's little elastic straps that hold them in. And like I said, when you're done, you put the flaps down, close it, zipper it, nothing's touching each other. They're all separated. I like these, they're fairly inexpensive. These go for, I wanna say, definitely under $15, probably around $10. A lot of the ones that I have, um, I bought years and years ago from like um, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. They had a sale for like $6 each. I think I bought like 10 of them. I use a lot of these. These happen to have pocket, or a pocket on the outside as well. All right, so if you're into saving different types of paperwork, you know, instructions or whatever, you can slip those papers in there. <clears throat> but yeah, pretty inexpensive, pretty useful. And then obviously these would go into a drawer or on a shelf and you could just stack them. Most people wouldn't know what that was. You wouldn't assume that this is filled with knives. You'd probably think it's filled with CDs from the 90s. So a good way to be a little inconspicuous and hide your goodies. Biggest problem with these, or I should say only problem, is the elastic. When you're putting knives in and out, in and out all the time, I've had them where the, the elastic strap broke. And although it's just going to affect that one spot, it's annoying. And you don't want, you know, something that's not functional. So with time, if you break multiple, you obviously you have to replace it. But these are really good. I like these. I've used these for many, many, many years. And they also make a bigger version, too, that holds a lot more knives. <clears throat> in fact, uh, you can see the bigger version in my very old video, my Balisong collection. I had one that's much larger. Uh, besides that, there's a bunch of these different cases. This one's from Benchmade, uh, currently empty because I you know, move knives around a little bit. Uh, but these, just Velcro, 
God, this smells just like the day I got it. That's so funny. I got this from, what was it? Country Knives in, I want to say, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And I got this when I was like, God, uh, I'm not even going to guess when, because sometimes I'm pretty bad with, with dates or times. But I got this when I was a lot younger. And uh, I wanted everything in the store, but I ended up with a book and one of these cases instead of knives. But I absolutely love these cases too. Uh, it's cool, like this one's branded Benchmade, so I specifically can put some nicer Benchmades in here. They have these uh, cut off so you can you know, put smaller knives, have it exposed so you can see what it is, or you can put a longer knife in here. This is absolutely perfect for the Benchmade Battle Songs. Um, this used to house, house all my 4X series Battle Songs, and it was filled at one point. I kind of wish I was looking at it filled right now, because all those knives are worth a lot of money. But they're gone. <laughs> so that's another option. A bunch of different companies make these. There's super cheap ones like on eBay or Amazon that are not branded, uh, maybe like a, a lesser quality material. But yeah, a ton of those where they're just basically rectangular, just hold a few different knives. Um, knife rolls. This is my most recent knife roll. All right, I got this, I want to say, close to a year ago. It has a, a carry handle, it has two straps. And when you undo these straps, it literally just rolls out to a nice big flat thing. There's two flaps that, again, like the little binder, um, it protects knives from rubbing against each other. You unfold those. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll give you a little sneak peek in this one, because this is some of my Battle Song collection right now. So right now I'm just uh, undoing these straps. This way you can see, if you've never seen a knife roll before, you can see how it works. This is super, super popular, or at least was popular many years ago. A lot of people used to collect, store, and transport knives in these. So you just undo the straps, it literally unrolls. That's why it's called a knife roll. All right, so if I hold this up, you can see it's quite large. Someone's gotta fix their brakes. And let me undo these little flaps here. So you got one car that doesn't know he has brakes and another car that needs to replace them. All right, anyway. <laughs> so here, I'll give you a quick, quick little preview here. All right, so I'm just alternating here, but obviously you can do rows and rows of them. Just because these knives are a little bit longer, um, they'll tend to bump into each other and they don't fit. But what's interesting about these knife rolls as well is that um, usually on one side there are wider straps for wider knives, and it slowly gets smaller and smaller. So if you have like real skinny or real small knives, you can put them on one end and so forth. But that is how a knife roll works. So that's my newer knife roll. This is my original knife roll, which I've probably had for 20 years. And this thing is so old that the fake leather comes off. <laughs> it's flaking off on me. I have more battle songs in here as well, but here's another example of it. There's bunch of different colors and stuff but they all basically are the same they have those little elastic straps that go across that so you just slip your knives in and out and they usually alternate in size or they start off fat and get smaller and smaller as you get down but these are pretty good because they're easy to store usually pretty inexpensive this one I think was like $25 or something many years ago the other one I got on eBay for like $15 I think maybe five or six dollars shipping so that was worth it to me and then you have things like these cases now these cases are cool too, but I think they take up more room that's necessary as far as you know how big it is compared to how many knives it holds. This particular one holds a couple, let's say two, four, six, six on the back. You flip it over, six on the other side. And then there's a middle thing that holds five on either side. All right, so six and six is 12, 12 and 10, 22. So 22 knives. Seems like a lot, but it's a fairly large case for 22 knives. But yeah, I mean, there's a ton of different styles of storage cases you can get for your knives, but these are pretty much the most popular. Back to the Apache case. So this was my newest acquisition. And again, this is an Apache, if I can look around the thing so I can see the screen. A 3800 case. All right, you can see I still left some of the stickers on here. It gives you some of the specs and whatnot. Um, and actually, I'm going to reference my phone real quick because I know I saved a picture. When I was in um, Harbor Freight, I saw these. 
I was really interested, but I didn't get one right away. I'm like, oh man, you know, eventually I'd like to get one of those because I needed more storage. And then I finally bit the bullet, like last week. So if you pause right there, you can see their sign from Harbor Freight shows the comparison between the Pelican and this one. And everything's the same except for the water resistance on the Apache is, it's hard to see what that says, IP65, IP, I think IP65, the water resistance on the Pelican's IP67. So what this is, is a ripoff of the Pelican case. Now before anyone comments, a lot of people will say, well, the Pelican case is better. Obviously, when you're copying something, the original is usually better. And I will say the Pelican case is a better case. Now, why am I using air quotes there? Because I would, I would guess that every single one of you, not even like 99%, every single one of you who's buying a hard case like this to store your knives is probably keeping it inside your house, carefully opening it, carefully shutting it, putting it away in a closet. Maybe, maybe you're going to like blade show or some kind of trade show and you need to, them to be a little bit more rugged. Even then, I think this is totally fine. However, if you're throwing your entire knife collection in one of these hard cases and then throwing it out of a plane into a lake or, I don't know, strapping it to your Jeep and doing, you know, off-roading with it, yeah, maybe you want to get the actual Pelican case. But most people probably aren't even going to drop this on the ground, let alone need that extra ruggedness you're going to get from a real Pelican, Pelican case. Um, so yeah, I mean, be realistic as to what you're using this for. All right, I actually have a larger Pelican case than this, and I originally got it for my camera gear. Now, with the camera gear, because it's sensitive, I do prefer a real Pelican case over some kind of a copy. But for the storage of my knives, this is perfect. All right, save 60 bucks by getting this instead of the Pelican. Some people just like getting the name brand just because it's a name brand. But like I said, if you're on a budget and you want one of these cases, you want to be a cool kid on the block because everyone seems to store their knives in these cases these days, this is a great option. It's a really cool option. They had three different sizes of Harbor Freight. This one was 40. They had another size, one size down, I think was 30, but it was significantly smaller than I'm like, well, what's an extra 10 bucks, you know? And then they have a much smaller case, uh, I believe for 20. So, I mean, I guess it depends on how big your knife collection is, but if you're going to buy this to store knives, it's always better to buy a bigger one and have room for more knives than to fill a small one, get more knives, and then go, uh-oh, what do I do with the rest? So, I love this. I think this is awesome. If I ever get the Pelican, the real version of this case, I will definitely do a side-by-side. -side. I'll throw them across the lawn, kick them down the street, whatever, maybe even shoot them. Because I know some of the Pelican cases can take, you know, a shotgun shot and, and nothing gets damaged inside. This, probably not, but how many people are really shooting their knife collection? Probably not a whole lot of you. So, I think it's a cool option. So, let's take a look inside here. All right. Actually, we'll stay just in this position right here. So, you can see there's two clasps on the front. Um, you can loosen it to let air in and out, or you can tighten it so it is airtight if it's going to get wet. Very cool. Just like a Pelican case. All right, also, if you notice on the corners here, there's, there's uh, metal reinforced holes. So if you wanted to, you can put locks on this. You can lock this up so that, I don't know, let's see if someone else in the house might be nosy, want to open your case. I mean, you could put anything in here, but I'm specifically, you know, referring to knife collections. But yeah, you could totally lock this up and you're not going to be able to open it. So you can see there's foam on the back here. If I peek around the side, I could see what I'm actually showing you. And right now I have all my slip joints in here. Not all of them, but I would say the vast majority of my slip joint collection is in there. There's this, um, the same pluck foam that you have in a, a re regular Pelican case. So there's actually three layers of foam. I probably should have taken the knives out to show you that, but you have to take my word for it. There's a base layer foam on the very bottom that just stays as is. So when you put your stuff in there, it's not gonna touch the plastic. You'll have foam to rest on the bottom. All right, and then the lid has that piece of foam. Now, the one thing I don't like, it's not a huge deal, but the lid foam comes out, all right? Um, when I first started using it, it would fall out. What I'm probably gonna do is just put some double-sided tape, just two strips, pop it back in. This way, when I'm opening and closing the case, this is not gonna move, all right? That's really not a big deal, but it's something I don't think that the Pelican cases, you know, have. So yeah, a piece of double-sided tape, be totally fine. You don't have to glue it or permanently put it there. But anyway, besides that, like I said, there's, there's two, I want to say, well, I can lift it up here to show you how thick this is anyway. Get my hand around here. There's two pieces that thick, all right, they're stacked on top of each other. 
Now I pluck these alternating holes and I did it in both both sets of foam so that these would fit all the way down. Now the front row are much smaller knives. I only pluck the foam on the top layer. This way the smaller knives won't get lost down in a deeper hole. So the front row here, it's easier to get these you know, smaller blades. Um, but yeah, obviously you can pluck it any way you want. It's very easy to get the pieces out. My only suggestion is this, whether you get this one or the Pelican case, to really, really think about what you want to do before you start pulling the foam apart. Because once you start plucking the foam and you go, uh oh, this is messed up, and you put the pieces back, they're just going to get loose and fall out. So really, really think about how you want the layout here. I thought this was the best way to do this. I want to say this holds like 58, I think. How I did it, it holds 58 knives. Um, maybe there's a way you can do it that holds more. This is a pretty common way that a lot of people store their knives. But yeah, I mean, as far as like how tall of a knife, I will say when I first got this, I tried putting the battle songs in there and just some of the standard like, you know, Benchmade 62 was too long. I wanted the foam on the bottom. If I took the bottom foam layer out, it would fit. But then I have all my knives touching the plastic and I don't want them rattling around and making noise. So better suited for smaller folders, let's just say. The bow songs are a little bit longer than the average folder. But for most people, most folding knives, I say three to four inch blades, they'll fit in here totally fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's how I have mine set up. You can always get more you know, foam inserts in the future if you want to change it up a little bit, but I think it's awesome. I think it's a really, really cool way. I don't know who first started doing this. I have to assume that a lot of the custom knife makers probably were using this to bring their stuff back and forth to different knife shows way before collectors started using them. But pretty cool idea. Very easy to access your stuff. All right, unlike all the other things I showed you, a little bit harder to get to, but this is just pop the case open and get your knives in and out. You don't have to worry about elastic, elastic straps or anything. And it does hold quite a bit. So yeah, I mean, for now, um, I'm a huge fan of these Apache cases. All right. Closes up nice. <laughs> I think Gus is barking. Here's the clicks. Um, I mean, if you listen, it's not going anywhere. It's there's it's each knife is butted up against foam, so it's totally cushioned. It's not going to get damaged. They're not going to touch each other. I can throw this across the lawn, and it should theoretically be fine. Because it's the cheaper model, like I said, maybe the hinges aren't quite as strong as the actual Pelican case. So that's pretty much it. I mean, I will say that I do prefer Pelican cases over these, but. You have to think what you're actually doing with this. If you're putting your knives in here and sticking it in a closet or under your bed, what do you need the extra security of a Pelican case for? You know? But if you're taking your knife collection on a safari when you go to Africa, yeah, sure, get the Pelican case. But I don't think a lot of people are doing that. So I think it's a great way to save some money and still have a really cool way to store your knives. As far as the other you know, ways I store my knives, everything has its pros and cons. I do like uh, these binders quite a bit just because they are cheap. All right, they stack easy, and they are a little bit more inconspicuous. A knife roll, to knife people, we know it's a knife roll. Uh, but these things, this, this could be holding anything. But I think this is just kind of cool. And I am late to the party. This has been a thing for a while with the Pelican cases. I'm sure there are plenty of people that already caught on and realize that there's other cheaper options of the same style cases. But it's new to me. Um, I haven't really been physically to a Harbor Freight in a very, very long time. And just in visiting, I saw this, I'm like... I totally got to get one. I didn't I didn't jump on it right away. When I went back, I, I grabbed one. And I'm glad I did. And if I get a chance to go back to Harbor Freight again, I'll probably get another one. You know, so this way I can kind of like, especially with larger knife collections, I tend to keep certain styles together. Like as you saw, the battle songs are in one knife roll where my, you know, slip joints or traditional knives are in this case. I like to separate everything. Instead of having everything all together, if I had 10 knives, it's fine but I have different types, different styles, and I like to keep those collections separated. So having multiple cases is obviously pretty cool too if you have a larger collection. But yeah, I'm a huge fan of it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys uh, use to store your knives, whether they're on display or hidden in some kind of case or maybe a combination of both. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you got some cool ideas on different ways to store your knives. And I thank you for watching. Have a great day, guys. Take care.